Hello everyone, it's me, Blade of Dragon Sonic, back again with round 11 of the Formula E Monoplace Championship. Round 11 is going to be held at Las Vegas, Nevada. So let's head to the grid then, for the Las Vegas E3. And here's your grid then, Blade of Dragon Sonic starting on pole with Mika Sui sitting beside him, then comes Raymo and Hewton. And Alan Lee from McLaren Neon holding a special livery. Then Rodney Solo, Firebird, not Lewis Hamilton, Tom Brown and the Geary, P. Sierra, Matuko uh, uh, Mega, uh, Newman, UK Ball, Catfish bringing home a new sponsor for today. Paul Kani, Mohammed Nawawi, Debris, the yeah, Ender Dragon Danny, the Mendrick of Marcus Nelson and Martinez and Modisus. Who? And his final lap deleted. So, Blade of Dragon Sonic on pole then, with Mika Sui deciding the man starting in P7 as the nurse is returning from racing his all five lights go on. Wiped out and away we go. There you go, four. The Las Vegas E3. I understand that's the wrong thing, and that's a very poor start then. No, from uh, Newman down to 12 already. He has the truly virgin cars right now having uh, quite a few issues. Everyone asking me shit on Discord, it's painful. Uh, Rainbow getting up into second place ahead of Mika Sui, but coming in next turn, then Blade of Dragon Sonic holding his nerve and the lead as Mika Sui trying to go down the inside on the run out. It's very close, and Mika Sui's taking the lead off the Las Vegas E3. Uh, first down the order then, McLaren with upgrades not doing too much, but Blade of Dragon Sonic retaking the lead of the uh, Las Vegas E3 on you know, lap 1 of 17. On board with the Renault Edams, his car right now then, and he's got Mika Sui very close to his inside, he's right on his inside as we head through the Las Vegas strip. And yeah, the Dragon just having to slide back down on the inside, Firebird still up in fifth place, his teammate O'Connor down. Knife Alan Lee and Mega doing okay as Sierra up to the points. <laughs> he's gonna be so. He's gonna be laughing his ass off when he sees him getting his own shout out. Um. And yet, oh, there's a lot of overtakes being made in the midfield. Uh, Ronnie Solo drops down to P14, started on the hard tires, and yeah, see how poorly that works out. Meanwhile, his teammate in 17. Each more is him. Lap 2 of 17 then and played a Dragon Sonic ahead of Hewton, who's definitely made a move up the inside coming through turn one. Yes, he has. And he's currently leading this train for the podium. Meanwhile, his teammate is currently running away with the lead of the C3. And I do believe this might be where he wins his championship. He's always stated I want to win at the end. But it doesn't look like it. It's Mikasui then. He could be the chess piece so that fits into Blade of Dragon Sonic's puzzle if he can just keep shooting behind him. Coming through this chicane, Blade of Dragon Sonic can be the fastest first of anyone. Uh, and Hewitt is still side by side with the Dragon Claw. We come up to the Las Vegas script and here in Nevada. They're side by side, next race is going to be in Austin, Texas. So, with DRS, Mika's gonna have. No, he's not. Hewton got DRS, did he? Yes, he did. And lost him away from the dragon. As Blade of Dragon Sonic in the box the second second and one. He's on an absolute roll. And Alan Lee drops in position. He's in the new livery McLaren Neon car. I wonder if they're gonna bring in the new livery for um, uh, Texas. And this is currently as Blade of Dragon Sonic in the box flat of the three. This is, this is currently transfer season, as in, this is the start of the silly season for that. And we've got a uh, yellow flag in the third sector, someone in the wall, crash has been cleared though. Um, trying to look for who it is, that's almost definitely a front wing being lost though. Everyone's so active on this squad right now, it's a painful thing. Uh, Mega down in 12, we've got literally a ton of road uh, and then behind him is Alan Lee, uh, overtaking the in there. Uh, top two positions aren't 
having much change as both the Dragon Sonic and the Fox is still sick. Sector of anyone. Still no penalties in the water. Yet yeah, throughout this race on board with Tom O'Connor who's trying to take the wider line that closes up to be the inside line on his own teammate. Ain't fighting in a big position. Right now, Amlin, uh, Amlin and Andretti is doing pretty well in the driver's championship. I know the constructors. and M. <laughs> that was funny. Now, lap 4 of 17 then. Uh, and I'm just going to say, if every Las Vegas, this E and Grand Prix that has been on this channel taught me anything, it's that there are fight for the midfield, but if you're fighting for the lead, forget about it! Now Edams have been very dominant this season, taking a majority of the wins, not all of them, a majority. It's not a monopoly like Red Bull had this season. And uh, Newman getting himself up into 8th place, along the line with um, Anthony Lee, uh, which means that Audi right now running 9th and 10th. Uh, yeah, the top 2, well, top 3, they're all just kind of just sitting by themselves. Bravo now being under threat from Tom McConnor who's gone past his own teammate. He's running very slowly compared to the other Amlin. Uh, Catfish and Sierra are running fucking at uh, 17th as a uh, Odysseus gaming position is on this one. Uh, up in 15th goes the, uh, the, um, no, the Adiri car, just Adiri, an idiot, and not that Samson got him down to the 11. No, after what happened in Montreal, this is exactly the race we needed. This race is probably not going to be on next season's calendar, if you see the only fans virgin. Oh my god, I must probably put that on the car for this weekend, this weekend only, only fans. The only fans virgin. That that sponsor really puts the virgin in the DS Virgin race. That's the only funny joke I can make. A uh, catfish still with the Canadian Grand uh, Epri helmet, the Montreal Epri helmet. Um, uh, there's a multitude of explanations for that. Either I was tired and I couldn't actually put on the right one. He wanted to, or stop asking. Uh, looking back with Catfish then, like 5 of 17. Uh, we've got 12 to the checkered. Thanks, Jeffrey. Uh, and yeah, the type 3 really have just cut out a bit. Uh, we're dragging some like in the fastest uh, second sector of anyone. Uh, Rodney Solo, he's dropped down to P19. For Venturi right now, it's the worst day of the season. Definitely making. I got my mind. Uh, definitely making Romney's decision to retire at the end of the season. No more justified. Play the Dragon Sonic sending fast slaps of the E3 after fast slap of an E3. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is kind of looking like uh, a very pro professional race. Uh, more than uh, even uh, Monica, I'd say. So, uh, looking on the Alan Lee then. As, uh, ooh, Davies finding himself getting positions up to 17th. And a run solo dropped down into 19th place. He's currently fighting with the version of Peace Getter in the 97. And yet, this isn't a very good race for Virgin or uh, Venturi's deck. Now, oh, we just as he moves, so yes, uh, Raver will be fired from next e the Neo. Well, at that point, if I'm going to call Maserati at the end of the season, 
uh, he is gonna be leaving the team. But with Romney Solo, it's not at um, the jury, anything that he's going to spill the season. That will come after the London Free, which will air later tomorrow. Or, or on Wednesday, whichever one I choose. Because, screw you, screw the fans, I have fun. That's a Seattle going around the outside of Rodney Solo, but Rodney having the better one. He's been chilly. Uh, oh, that's a very good fight for P9 between the two, uh, Aldi. He's fine over that position, but right now it does seem to be pretty single fire. But they can't find themselves up in a fourth place on the board with Rainbow then. Yeah. <laughs> we just got a message from Rodney, because I just put this on the Discord, for Fume's sake. It's a good thing you didn't say for fuck's sake, I would've been demonetized down the inside on uh, New Men Goes Ravo then, uh, up into fifth place. Uh, and yeah, this isn't really the most interesting of E3 ever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I might as well just take one. Yo, why the hell is he on hard? I like, made a run in Seattle with 10 laps to go. Those hard tires are basically just wrecked their race. Top three then. Oh, top five, I'd say. Oh, almost definitely. Uh, almost definitely, sorry, in the box car of Rick. Uh, when I was beat down, so they looking like they're gonna come home with a one two. Um Mika Sui definitely looking like it's gonna push the but the Las Vegas he piece uh, we've got yellow in the third sector and that's four firebird he's lost part of his front wing. He's gonna be the first guy to come into the pit then on that eight. Uh, I wonder no that's probably not due to um or something like that. I think that was just him. Um, how was riding more, that's oversteering or understeering either or uh, through the final turn. Uh, through this chicane, but not really. Uh, then that is uh, turn three and four, five. Uh, and yeah, five definitely lost the back of Ravo. And Noon definitely trying to close in on Tom O'Connor to try and make it a Dragon 3-4 after their astonishing 1-2 at uh, 1-3 at um, Canada. Uh, also, for those of you guys in the Discord server who are using Formula Game Companion, that app is not accurate to the actual standings. For example, it says that Blade of Dragon Sonic finished the third uh, at um, Canada. He was third on the line, he was he was sixth at the finish. He forgot the penalties. Uh amongst many other things. And look how Simon takes for the top three tackle. He come across the line. So on board with Firebird. And he does peel into the pit then he's your first starting to make a pit stop and it's from medium tires. It's gonna probably drop him out of the points then. But the cable because of that coming into the points. And, uh, yeah, there is a bit of that station we probably will see some pit stops. There's a chance of some shenanigans coming out of this. And where is that? But yeah, the Venturi guys are not very happy with their fire compound choices. Uh, the Ingrid guys, I don't think they're very, I don't even think they're happy with the art, because like, because like, wow, they are literally, they, they are the team with the most amount of money. They can, they can make a lot of upgrades. They just haven't. But luckily for them, they're, they're holding on to P10. On the sheer fact that neither Virgin right now is scoring any points. And Newman's gotten ahead of Tom O'Connor with DRS. It is that Dragon 3-4 then that they wanted. 
30 seconds, Sonic please, on the 10th lap of 17, with Hewton behind him. And, uh, this might be the longest, uh, no, no, not the shortest lap count, the shortest lap count was, uh, Belgium forgot the galaxy even gonna say anything. Um, uh, but yeah, this is very processional. UK ball trying to go down the inside of the Tuco, almost looked like they touched coming out of the final set. And so down the inside goes UK ball up to 8th place. That's definitely like an next EV super uh, motor or something. I don't know. Whoever is going to be able to combine Tuco then. There's not a lot for me to really see as Nelson coming to the pits then for the first stop. And it's for intermediate. Is it raining? It's raining, isn't it? Uh, we're not really seeing a lot of spray off of the back of the car from red light, but there are, there are the first raindrops then. Mahindra timing the first pit stop of the race. The first needed one of the races perfectly. And there's spray and the red lights coming from the back. Of the dragon running on board with Blade of Dragon Sonic, he's gonna do his first point on the lead lap to come into the pits then. And on lap 10, he's gonna start lap 11 in the pits. Into the pits he comes, he's probably gonna come out in the lead. On go the intermediates. Uh, into the pits comes everyone else as well. well um, the dragons coming in. This is a thing that often happens here in Las Vegas. It starts dry. But it gets wet. Um, Newman coming in. Uh, O'Connor might uh, jump. Um, Newman in the pits? I don't think so. But there's a chance. No, he doesn't. He comes out just ahead. Um, and the dragon down in the top five remain the same. But there might be a few playing shenanigans. Uh, and finally. Uh, what? Rodney? He's going to be on of those dreadful hard times. Marcus, right on board with him. He's got the most worn enters by just putting, putting them on a lot earlier. We'll see where he comes out. They've recently not found themselves up in 11th place. Uh, and yeah, Nelson's, Nelson's only room for the chance to ever take his teammate by an undercut. Maybe even Sierra. Martina is ahead, but that's only because of that pit box. And he's ahead. Uh, Ronnie coming out in 20th place. Um, and Nelson finds himself up into 18th. Ahead of Nawali, ahead of Rodney, ahead of Sierra, ahead of his own teammate. And, um, yeah, Catfish. Can't be running in 15th place. He lost out on two positions, I think. He picks up as the two coach bump past uh, Dave Reese then, at 12, 17 then, and it's going to take a while for these to come back up to temperature. Uh, even the leaders are struggling with tile uh, temperatures, it seems. And yeah, I think the top six is the same, probably the top seven. And there's Alan Lee, the eight. Uh, not really defending from UK, but he's really just driving. We are probably going to see a lot of car in this race. Yeah, there's not, there's not really that much I can say. There's not really that much I can say. We've got five laps to go then. On board with Medesis, Medesis, he's looking at a P12 finish. If he can get past debris, it'll be P12. Uh, well for him, his teammate not with Samson currently holding on to P10. But this is definitely Venturi, one of Venturi's worst days. He's uh, with the definite worst finish coming from their team principal. He is going to stay as his team principal for next season. Instead of just being acting team principal. But it'll be pretty sad to see him go away to be honest. Um, with a uh, Ravo, he's still got a shot, but yeah, lap 13 of 17. 
ball to go. I need to drink some water. Yeah, that 
Martinez. Uh, but then again, Kenny uh, and the two first fans of the time. They're back to the rookie down the line. raining. I think on the final lap of the Las Vegas E3, it stopped raining. Uh, yeah, these intermediates now, they're overheating. Human, is he going to try and make an overtake under safety car? You're not allowed to do that. And Human then forcing his way into the lead of the Las Vegas E3. And that, that is going to get him a suspension. I'm I'm gonna tell you that, that has to be illegal, right? That's an illegal overtake. That's that's an overtake under the safety car. You're not allowed to do that. Y you aren't. These inters, yeah, 130 something degrees. They are overheating. No one's gonna be allowed to come into the pits because it's the final lap of the E3. But look at this, this is going to be absolutely farcical for next season. This might get safety car removed. Because we've just had a, we've just had a last lap overtake from Hewden on Blade of Dragon Sonic. But it's happened under the safety car, which makes it illegitimate. Technically, that would mean that Hewden would not win this E3. But, what can we do? 
pressure from someone. Safety car is ending on this lap. What? The safety car is ending on this lap. We have not been given the safety car coming. Uh, we have not been given lap cars may now overtake. So Megan's going to lead us away. Which means that this is going to go down into the final turn. On board with Blade of Dragon Sonic. He's the man in second place currently. He's been leading almost throughout this E3. Mega, will he lead us away on this E3? No, we're still under safety car conditions. Which means, while he's like 13th on the road, Shooting wins. Shooting wins the Las Vegas E3. In the worst circumstances possible. The top 11 all come across the line. And as they were, Patoka is going to probably lose positions, but we've still got a fight for 12 on our hands. This is the second lead battle. They're all on intermediate tires. Multiple drivers are probably going to get punctured. A Firebird getting himself up into a 13th place. Down the inside on uh, Catfish he was. And then down the inside comes Catfish. Uh, multiple drivers, I'm telling you, they're all going to probably have... Yeah, they all got those leading tires. There's no way that no one's gonna get a puncture here. There is no shot. Nelson then get it, trying to go around the outside on his own teammate and to get up into 20th place. A Ronnie Solomon and P19, he's not gonna any hope of making any overtakes. All of these guys have got an extra lap to go. This is the weirdest finish. This has to be like a glitch or something. No, this is probably what would happen in real life. Um, but yeah. That's gonna be that might have just ended you story. Because that that's an overtake on the safety car. So coming through the final turn then, finishing 12th place. Oh my goodness, how How far how far away from you will or Martinez be? That's one minute and 37 seconds back. And this is your podium then. This is quite possibly an incorrect podium because of that safety car infringement. This is like this is like the ghost of Michael Massey coming back. Except you you definitely he broke the rule there. But it's gonna stay on record and it's gonna show on record. That Hewton wins the Las Vegas E3 from his teammate Blade of Dragon Sonic and Mika Sui. Then would come Tom O'Connor and Ravo. Then Alan Lee, Ender Dragon Danny, and UK Ball. Then not Lewis Hamilton, Debris, Ibatuko, Mega, the Firebird, Catfish, Pisciata, Kemodesis. And then would come Mohammed Nawawi, Wani Solo, Paul Kani, Marcus Nelson. Jay Martinez and Newman being the only retirement from the Las Vegas E3. Now in the driver's standings, I think that's a that's a 90-ish point gap. I will do the match in the comment section below this time. But on 227 points, with four rounds, no, with three rounds to go, Blade Dragon Sonic might have just won the championship with that second place finish. Shewton second, Mika Sui third, UK Ball fourth, Ravo fifth, Tom O'Connor seventh, uh, Newman seventh, Debris eighth, Mate good ninth, Ronnie Solo tenth, and the Dragon Danny eleventh, the two co twelfth, uh, Alan Lee thirteenth, Mohamed Awali fourteenth, Carlos Hunt fifteenth, Madisa sixteenth, Barber seventeenth, Martinez eighteenth, Cole Kenny nineteenth, Seattle twentieth. Uh, then comes Catfish and still yet to score Marcus Nelson in the constructor standings coming into Austin. When are we down then? They lead on 336 points from next TV on 167. Then comes Dragon Racing on 150. Then Venturi on 94 points. Uh, then comes Amelin Andretti on 86 points. Then Apshape Loud is on 82 points. Then McLaren Neom on 77 points, then Team Aguri on 42 points. This then comes from Story Grand Prix on 32 points. Mahindra Racing and DS Racing still tied on 12 points. We'll see you next time for the Austin E3.